Okay. We're all right. Apparently we're live. Oh, okay. Oh. Show us the video as we're live. Okay. <laughs> Freaking bossy. She said, don't worry. We're still connected. You can't separate these intertwined loins. And then we sent the bone emoji back and forth for a good while. Well, were you thinking what I was thinking that we were trying to hit it at the same time? No. Oh, I thought we were like, if we can bone at the same time, that means true friendship. That's why we overlap sometimes. It does. No, I was just trying to go back and forth. But then oh, I was trying to bone, 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 bone. See, we messed up there. I was trying to bone, 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 bone. Everybody bone. in the comments. Bone, bone, bone. 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 Bradley, bone, bone, bone. 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 Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. oh, hi everybody in the comments that we can see in a different way on StreamYard, so I can't click on it, but know that I'm clicking like. I can click. Like. I, you see, I can look at what Brian Smith just said. Is it Bradley who kidnapped Jonathan this time and they're asking for ransom? Did Bradley kidnap Jonathan? Um, Find out next week on another exciting episode. No? <laughs> I can't get over how cool that feature is. I feel so professional and also... Yeah. I hope people have good profile pictures because they're going to be displayed for the world to see. True. Oh, <laughs> Judge Romano. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. So yeah, we never have to read one out again. Well, no, no I mean we put it up there. Do I have to scroll? Oh my uh, god! Judge Romano throwing major shade. Impressive, <laughs> Joe. And <laughs> also physically, Are close captions. What? Oh. Oh my God! So, yeah. If I said Facebook? Yes, word. crump, 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 crunt, crunt, crunt. Wait, where are you seeing that? The IT crunt. I don't know. It just came up. Oh, maybe that's just from Facebook. I'm looking at it on Facebook. That's exciting. But we are also streaming live on Alex's Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Go watch That's right. Hair. We're expanding. Yeah. We're Come spreading on. like Haley. What'd you say to me, Crunt? What? I'm sorry. No, you're Crunt. You can't call me that. <laughs> you called me that. Yeah, I made it up. I can call no, you. No, if we are one, I can call you whatever you call me, Crunt. Heartache to heartache, we stand. Love is a batter feel. Batter feel. A batter feel like you know what batter feels like, like sort of thin and silky. I mean, it oh. depends on the batter, I guess. Rename. All batters, oh, Rename. like a pancake batter is a little bit lumpy. Don't say no one say anything. I was changing my name. <laughs> no. I'm so I changed to thin and silky. <laughs> 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 Uh, look, look at all of the positive feedback we're getting from our fans. Josh Rothwell saying, ooh, pretty. Yeah. Love this new look. Mm -hmm. Dana, love the new format. Quincy, what a difference this year makes. Brian Smith, IT crowd has tech upgrades. I can't take this. It's too IT for me. Me too, don't Brian. Me too. No, don't worry. It's the tech. We, we don't understand it, so more things will probably go wrong. Oh, right? absolutely go wrong. We did this so we can fail harder and quicker. We yeah. have subtitles now, which will not bode well for us, especially I, trying to... Only Alexis like, can find those. those. It's, it's like when the sign language interpreters come to fair, and you just have to test what the signs for things look like. Like crunt. Crunt. I don't know what the signs you are. You can't crunt. say it, Butterfield. Yes, I can. Crunt. It's a Butterfield. Crunt. Star crunt. Sex Education. Crunt. 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 Really good. Crunt. 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 Everybody. And, and who can forget this? And a newsletter. We yeah, did a newsletter. Promises kept. <laughs> Speaking of the word crunt, am I right? <laughs> we finally got Haley's cauliflower casserole recipe. 
I can uh, read over it. I'm like, oh my God, that's so much cheese. I have made it four times this week. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. The only recipe I've ever learned. Any dinner party I've ever wanted to be at. <laughs> God, she was, we were FaceTiming and she was like trying to explain it to me and I was just so mad. <laughs> oh, it didn't make any freaking sense. Oh man, Josh Rothwell's watching on multiple platforms. There's a little, a little YouTube button. Look at that. Yeah. You can't handle it. Oh man! Uh, the, new, the newsletter is not on Facebook. Yeah. If you have not gotten the newsletter yet, it's because you slept on the newsletter sign up on our website when it first went live. That's our sweet. website is dormant right now. But if you want the newsletter, send an email to us, uh, and we will send the newsletter to your email that you send us an email with. Put it up. Information technology. Improv.technology at gmail.com. Throw yes. it up on the screen. Actually, Alex, yeah, you and me need to relook at those. We'll resend the original newsletter because you don't want to miss it. No, send it to you me. Don't. You've seen it. We wrote I it. Don't, I don't remember. Was it funny? Yeah, it was real funny. We're real funny. Well, we thought it was funny. I don't know what everybody else thought. That's all that matters, TBH. Are you thinking that Jonathan is commenting? <laughs> you do. And I'm like, I, you said you were busy. But he's wrong. He's missing. You said you were good. You said you were busy. But let's... Jeff Lack. Fill everyone in briefly on the beginning of the story of Jonathan is missing. And then we'll get the show started. Wait, we're going to tell him? You tell him. Jeff, you're back. What? Oh, <laughs> no. Daddy, oh, you're lagging. Oh, no. Not the return of Jeff lag. Oh, but oh, you're just like half a second off. So it just looks like you talk real funny. I mean, <laughs> I always have, but. Oh, oh, he's back now. <laughs> Is he? Oh, I thought he. No. Talk, yeah. talk, talk, Jeff. For once. Uh, all right. So uh, Jonathan is currently yeah. out on tour. And uh, apparently, uh, uh, where he is right now, hotels are very inconvenient. And so he is staying with a host family. And the question that we asked in our suggestion post about red flags if, if something is a murder basement were inspired by things that Jonathan told us about the house that he was staying in. Things such as him not being allowed to go upstairs and only allowed to be in the basement. I wouldn't let him upstairs either. That's a really good point, actually. The, like the industrial locks inside the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. Guys, what if the family is watching this and they punish Jonathan for his indiscretion? Here's what I have been worried about all day is because we've been joking in the Facebook group for like a full 24 hours about it. And I can just see the headline. It's like, Missoula Children's Theater, like, pairing gets murdered. Local improv troupe <laughs> mocks him in his death. Oh, I thought it was going to be um, uh, improv or, or actor murdered after murderer witnesses cruel ridicule in Facebook chat. <laughs> oh, no. We That's drive the family to committing an act of horror. him to get rid of him. Jonathan's like... Oh, I'm also part of a, an improv group, y'all. Why don't we all sit together and watch it tonight? No. <laughs> no. I feel like Jonathan watches these afterward and then decides if he can tell his family there was a show or not. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Well, now that we've gotten that story out of the way, let's uh, kick things off with our theme song. Look at that! We got like a theme video. So good. I keep getting confused because I think we're back, and I'm like, I'm not moving right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not wearing the clothes I was in. <laughs> Well, I, except for me, I'm still wearing the maroon V-neck. Definitely are. <laughs> Classic. I'm wearing a T-shirt in one of those videos, which is very strange for me. Imposter. Yeah, not real, Jeff. Fake Jeff. But Jeff. Uh, but welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the IT crowd. We are 
Improv Technology, the IT crowd. Uh, my name is Jeff Wolfall. I am your host tonight, and I am joined by three of the most fabulous improvisers I have had the opportunity to work with in my career. Uh, joining us uh, from uh, the comfort of a chair in their mother's side table, Bradley. And no one else is important enough to introduce. We're going to get going with our first game called I Like My Partners. Super fair. You're such a good boy. You did so good. As I was going to say, the three best improvisers of his career were the chair, the light bulb that's warming Bradley, and Bradley. <laughs> hey, that light bulb never says no. I'm just saying, the amount of times I've seen Bradley action gulping and bubbling are like once. So that light bulb could be working. That's because I need to turn Bradley on five and a half hours before the show, and I don't have that kind of time or... Listen, some of us need to be turned on well in advance before we start buttering and gulping, all right? I can't... Oh, you're talking about the law. Okay, it's fine. I... <laughs> Shut up, Thin and Silky. <laughs> <laughs> the thought crossed my mind, but it disturbed me far too much to make any kind of joke about Alexis and turning me on. That, oh, why well, wow. you did it, Jeff. When Wait, I said uh, Jeff, I, said, uh, I thought it was a nickname this... that you'd put in there, so I said it like with intention, like Jeff, but it's you You left your real name. I did. I did leave my actual name. Jeff. I can't change my name. What? It's in the little bubble boobies it's in the Bradley. bottom line. Haley. What? The little... Oh, there we go. Now I can... I showed you bubbling and gulping well done. Well done. All right. Uh, but tonight, I am joined from her usual closet under the stairs at 12 Privet Lane, Haley Carlson. Uh, joining us from a room that is getting increasingly darker, like her soul, Alexis Amarante. Don't talk to me, Cron. <laughs> and coming to us perpetually from just outside the closet, Alex Stampoli. <laughs> 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 it, it was literal and metaphorical uh but uh we are here to provide some improvisational entertainment for you all and we're very excited to do this every wednesday as always we have our venmo at the it crowd you can see it scrolling along at the bottom of the screen every once in a while i can also whoop, pop it up there with a banner if I so choose, because that is the power of this new streaming platform that Alex has introduced us to. Oh, I forgot to watch the private chat. Oh, no. Oh, I also <laughs> am not paying attention. Cool in there? Oh, uh, no. Oh. It's not cool. Don't worry, guys. You're not missing out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But we are going to start off with our first game, which is a game called I Like My Partners. In this game, they're going to be filling in that sort of quick wit joke. I like my partners like I like my whatever. And then making a punny punchline based off of what that whatever is. And the fill-ins for that whatever came from our suggestion post that we put up just yesterday. And in the 24 hours that we had it up, like 17 people commented on it, which is almost as good as when we get it up many days ahead of time. So thank you, everyone that commented on that suggestion post. You're the reason we procrastinate. That's exactly. <laughs> You've proven that I don't need to try as hard. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to get this started with I like my partners like I like my chalk outlines. Uh, and that courtesy of Michael Adelson. Thank you, Michael. I like my partners like I like my chalk outlines. I like my partners like I like my chalk outlines tightly covering my body when I'm laying there. I, I like my partners like I like my chalk outlines. Part of them's made of chalk. Uh, I like my men like I like my chalk outlines uh, casually touching various parts of me while they're finishing their job. I like. <laughs> I like my partners. Like I like my chalk outlines. Um, based on context clues, a body was involved, but now it's it's, it's mostly an idea. Uh, I I like my men. Like I like my chalk outlines. Uh, they look great up until you get to the part where the fingers are involved, and then somehow they always look a little stubbier than they originally do. Mm. 
Uh, I like my partners. Like I like my chalk outlines. Probably featured at some point on uh, Law and Order. I like my partners like I like my chalk outlines. Rain is a threat to them. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> But you should put Terry Sheffield's up on the screen because it's really funny. Terry Sheffield <laughs> likes her partners like she likes her chalk outlines. Human shaped. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to know that Michael is at least vaguely human shaped. <laughs> vaguely. Uh, ooh, Joseph Germano also with oh, a good man. one. Erasable when I'm done with them. Maybe we shouldn't do this because they'll see that we're not as funny as a lot of them yeah. in the comments. <laughs> Look, we are but a vehicle for the humor. Uh, so, uh, next one. Uh, this one coming from uh, Matthew Martsoff. I like my partners like I like my deli meat and cheese. We could probably simplify that to like cold cuts, but do with it what you want. Hmm. I like my partners like I like my deli meat and cheese. Kosher. Kosher. I like my partners like I like my cold cuts. Salam in me. Not salmon. Salam me. <laughs> when yeah. it was better. Salam mm -hmm. me. And you made it worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is how the guy's saying salamander or salmon. Uh I like my men, like I like my cold cuts. Foot long meat. <laughs> That's <laughs> I can't play this game anymore. My mom is watching and she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> Just put in the chat what you'd say and then I'll say it. She hates, okay. Uh, I like my men, like I like my deli meats picked up at a Weiss with the help of a little old lady in a hairnet. Uh, I, like I like my partners like I like my deli meat and cheese. I have to pull a number and wait for them to be available to me. <clears throat> I'm not I like saying that Alexis is not funny. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you would. <laughs> uh, I like my men, like I like my deli meats. You can often find me enjoying them at three in the morning, half naked in the refrigerator. I like mm. my partner. Like I like my deli meats. Ham. You didn't say mine so that you could say ham. It was just a prank ham. <laughs> I like my partners like I like my daily meats. I only have them around because my dog likes it. <laughs> oh, you're talking uh, to ladies. I like my men like I like my deli meats and cheeses uh, with condom mints. Oh. Ah. Uh, all right, uh, let's get one more. Uh, I like my partners like I like my crystals. My mom just commented. Wait. <laughs> your mom said that. Look, my dad just texted me. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't worry, mom. And Alexis's dad, we're not very good at this game, so it can't get that bad. I'm well, Haley's mom coming out of nowhere. Your mom is watching too. <laughs> this is Amy's first time commenting. She's like, I hate when you guys talk. I don't like when you play this game. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I love it. <laughs> Annie Carlson. Your show is great. I just wish there was less of you guys in it. <laughs> My mom. D Dad and I are watching. How do we comment? <laughs> <laughs> Press the oh. comment button. <laughs> and now you know why improv technology has a problem with technology. It doesn't run in the family. It's hereditary. Oh. Just texting me from downstairs. Hilarious. All right, last one. I like my partners like I like my crystals. Crystals coming to us from Mary Smith. I like my partners like I like my crystals. Um, I like my men like I like my crystals. I put them in my hand and stroke them when I need to calm down or center myself. I like my men like I like my crystals. Maybe they're making me happy or maybe it's just a placebo effect. <laughs> That's a good one to end on. All right. Nice, nice. And parent friendly. Uh, <laughs> um, for those of you just joining us, or in case a bunch of people left, 
Um, we are still the IT crowd. We're a bunch of improvisers, and we are here to make some stuff up and bring some some joy and laughter to your lives. Uh, we are trying out a new technology of StreamYard tonight to uh, bring forth our comedic stylings to you. Um, so if you like what you see and you find yourself in the financial position to be able to do so, we have our Venmo at the IT crowd. You can also follow us on other social media, such as Twitter, uh, our very well curated Instagram that Alexis yeah. runs. Um, and uh, we also have a newsletter that you can sign up for by sending us an email to improv.technology at gmail.com. We should have read the poem. You should have. Do a dramatic reading of it. We still so, could. I don't know where to find it. It's gone. Yeah, that's why I said send it to me. I haven't read it. We literally sent it to you. I was in a comedy trance. <laughs> doing my comedy dance. Around the apartments with no pants. What I just say? <laughs> also, you could say ham is a punchline. <laughs> I, I didn't say I was good. Yes, I did, because I am. Please continue the poem. Oh, no. That was it just... Was one, it was banan. Banan. Two bananes. Two banane. Eric Banna. Three Eric Bannas. Four Copacabanas. Five cop dramas. Six. Uh, six. Six. <laughs> That was the poem in the newsletter. <laughs> yeah. really if you want genius like that, sign up for the newsletter. It was a great example of A to C. If you take improv classes with us, <laughs> the 10 of you that were able to, and then no one else ever again, then you know what A to C is. If you want that poem to make sense to you at some point in the future, sign up for our future improv classes. Mom and dad, looking at you. I'll teach you how to use Facebook, too. There we go. <laughs> oh, our rates are going up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our next game. Our next game is a game that we call YouTube Channels. Oh, In no. this game, these three actors are going to have their own YouTube channel. And uh, we are going to sort of YouTube surf around, you know, probably like you were doing just before joining us. Or all throughout work today, like me. Or um, continuing to do now. Exactly. Um, so for this one, uh, Alex, your suggestion comes to us from Amanda Scott. Your YouTube channel is Toy Isle at the Dollar Tree. Whatever you want that to mean. Oh, God. Under 15 minutes, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haley, uh -huh. your channel is Prince Charming Kermit the Frog. Whatever you want that to mean. <laughs> I can't wait for the voice. I hate this. <laughs> so close. I didn't ask for this close up. There. Thank you. God damn. Um, and Alexis, your suggestion comes to us from Madison Cadulo, and it is Vampire Hunter obsessed with Robert Pattinson. So I'm going to let them get ready. I'm going to remove Bradley from the stream as well. Um, and I'm going to disappear in a little bit. And then I will bring them back in one at a time. And uh, we'll sort of surf around a couple of times and check out their channels, uh, see what's new, any updates, whether or not we should like and subscribe, stuff like that. You don't want to listen to me talk. I'm just stalling so they have a little bit of time. Bye. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing a haul video. Um, I went out shopping, we had the holidays come up, and I went to the dollar uh, dollar store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, <laughs> salute the general, <laughs> and I bought toys in the toy department. And I love toys at um, Dollar Tree, General, Captain, wherever you go, um, because you can still have fun. And a lot of times they do really silly things to get around like, copyright infringement. So let's see what I was able to get on such short uh, notice. Uh, so they stretch the definition of toy. Uh, but first we have this Hot Wheel that was there. This was a super great find. Um, to the untrained eye, it's simply just a car. But if you look very close, it's clearly supposed to be Cruella de Vil's. Uh, but the packaging on it was 
crazy hates dog lady with multi-toned hair. So we were able to pick that up. Very fun, very fun. Um, also in the toy department was this um, nondescript face mask, which I'm very excited to try because you're never too young to start fixing this, teach the children. Um, and they couldn't use Rudolph's name, but they did a very vague likeness, uh, getting really close to copyright issues there, Dollar Tree General Captain. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, picked up this cute little action figure. It doesn't do much, um, but it was labeled as a uh, pretty woman jealous of young girl give her fruit toy, which I was very excited about. Um, I like this Disney theme is wonderful. Um, also, let's see here. Oh, this was a fun. This was I really enjoy um, for all those young Foley artists out there. They had this thunder tube. I like that you can just dramatically enter a room like. Oh, what's that, Dorothy? Oh no! Ooh, I'm super excited for this one. Theme parties better watch out. Uh, hello and welcome to my. Oh no! Hello, Kermit. Rainbow Connection. Hello, hello, and uh, welcome to Kermit Finds Love. Um, I can be your Prince Charming. I am a little frog in a, a little a little frog in a big city. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, a little, oh, oh, I'm a little frog in a big city, and I'm looking for a lady like you, currently only looking for female companionship, but I will broaden if the search does not seem fruitful, I enjoy a lot of things, I like, I like singing, that's not it, I like singing, oh, hello, hello, um, I make an excellent fry stew, and did I say fry? Fly. The voice, I I swear to God, I watched a video and I was like, "That's easy," and I stopped the video. And now I'm reconsidering sort of everything about my career path, and I'm reconsidering what I'm doing here with these these people. Um. Wow, it's it's like looking back on your life, you know, you're like, what led me to this? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so welcome back to my channel. Um so the best way to hunt a vampire is to look like what um they're attracted to. And so I modeled um, my look um, off of Bella, Bella Swan. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with Bella Swan. If you're not familiar with Bella Swan, you should probably get off my channel. Or if you're like Team Jacob, like you need to get off my channel. So um, like I'm a vampire hunter, but like not in the way that like hunter, like I want to like kill someone, like like hunter, like like I want, like I kind of want him to like hunt me, you know, like, like I want like, can't like you like obviously I'm talking about like like Robert Pattinson right <laughs> team Edward I mean Edward and, and Robert Pattinson they're the same person there's, there's no way that they're different people I know that they're not I know that they're the same person I know that that they're the same and so um uh Robert Edward Pattinson if you're watching this like um then I'll totally um you can like DM me and I'll send you my address and um then I won't have to hunt um you anymore you can just um you can come here and then we can be together. <laughs> um, so Robert Pattinson, um, if you're watching, then um, um, you can stay, but everyone else should go, especially if you're Team Jacob. Or I also was able to find this super cute onesie that looks like Puff the Magic Dragon there in the aisle. So that's super exciting. Um, and I like that the teeth look like chiclets. <laughs> uh, let's see, other things that we got. Uh, there was this puzzle. Um, I think you may recognize them, but this was simply titled Four Sexually Active Women Live in Miami Puzzle for One, uh, which was a lot of fun to pick up. Uh, I'm very excited to put that together and Mod Podge it so I have some art for the walls. Um, and then, because uh, killing it with the pop culture, but not really, um, there was this Tastes Like Crap cookbook um, featuring recipes from your favorite hit show. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, oh, like this hit one right here. A little bit of Lexus Latte. 
I love these things here at the dollar at the Dollar Tree. Also, we were able to find this cute little compact before we checked out. Super nice. Um, and then this strawberry scented hand sanitizer, which I also think is fun to play with. It's functional. There's a bug in my way. Good, get out of here. Um, but then when you're done, you have like a little bottle you can repurpose and do something with. So yeah, thanks for swinging by. I'll do a haul next week of a Walmart toy department and then the final Kmart in Pennsylvania. Stay tuned. Kermit the Frog here today. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. Hey, to talk to you about to talk, talk to you about important feelings. Two very important. You know what? I don't need the gimmick. I came here to YouTube to do what to what everyone does, which is find love, because that's why we're here, right? And so I thought I needed a gimmick because I didn't think I was enough, but I am enough. So I'm just gonna tell you some things about me, and I'll start. I'll start with the bad stuff. I can't drive. I really can't. I've taken a lot of lessons, but I can't quite figure it out. Um. That's sort of my only personality trait, and I've based a lot around that. And I, I just say I love to walk. God, I love, I love walking. You want to ride? No, I love stepping my feet, heel to toe, toe to heel sometimes too. Because when you walk as much as I do, you need to spice it up. But I want, I want someone who's going to be my princess. And if my princess could drive, that would be <laughs> absolutely ideal. You guys are being like super mean in the comments and you're saying that you're saying that Robert Pattinson and Edward are two completely different people and they're not. They're the, they're the same person. And for you guys to like like come to my my channel and be like, no, they're different people and he would never go for you because you have reddish brown hair and Bella's hair is brownish black. Like, why are you guys being so mean in the comments? Like if I were if I weren't a vampire hunter, I would be a, pe a people hunter and I would come and I would hunt you because you're being like so mean. <laughs> The comments, like, don't even come to my channel. Like, if you're going to, okay, like, here's, if you don't know who Bella Swan is, get out. If you're Team Jacob, get out. If you're going to bully me, get out. If you're Robert Pattinson, you can definitely stay. But, like, any of his close friends or family, get out. Um, um, everyone else, like, you can stay if you're going to, like, help me. But if you, if you keep bullying me, like, you can't, you can't be here, okay? Like, this is not fair. <laughs> and I'm done. And that's the game. I think it's okay. I think it's weird that we can't hear each other <laughs> laugh. <laughs> and that was that's my <laughs> Wait, you you can or can't? I can't. can't. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I did a bad job, but I want to know that you guys are at least pity laughing. You you turned that into... I thought it was me. Yeah. I, don't worry. I, I also liked it. It's fine. <laughs> My confidence is so high. <laughs> well, uh, was Alex really, was so inspired really that he it. failed. No, I was wanting to see if I took myself out, if you could still hear me when I was speaking. I can hear my... Out. My parents probably called it quits after that, because they... <laughs> Are they just like watching from downstairs? Yeah, and when I ran to get my this hoodie to look like Bella Swan, you I did. walked past and like stood with them for like a solid minute trying to help them comment, but they're on an iPad and it didn't make sense. And my mom's like, see, it's not our fault. And I was like, no, it's not. And <laughs> we're both just down there like <sighs> But they love us. Yeah, Aww. me too. But it um, is it's hard not hearing not hearing giggles. Yeah, I need yeah. the laughs. Boy, oh boy, that was rough. You did great, though. It's just we can't tell tell you. I mean, mm -hmm. we could comment, I guess, if that would help. <laughs> <laughs> in in the private chat, just start saying each other, la, 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 la. In the private chat, I showed great concern for Haley because she, as soon as she was like, I don't need the gimmicks, and then I don't know how to drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got worried. So. <laughs> uh. That was great. Good job, everybody. Great job, team. Go team. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do a different game. And uh... <laughs> what the hell does that mean?
mean different name? Different, different name, different, name, different game. game. That's, mm-hmm. Is my mom still here? Hi, mom. What does that say? Mom is still here. Does, does that mean he's out? Yes, I heard him walk upstairs. <laughs> After the me crying, he's like, I can't move. I can't take that kind of emotion. No. Uh, I, I, draw, pure talent. I could barely take it. Thank you. I like that Alex is pioneering a new gay archetype. Like, you got the bear, you got the otter, you got the cub, you got the dragon. <laughs> I and forgot I had this until it got to this video, and I ran over. I was like, what other, like, stuff do I have? And I saw, like, this, like, pink pom-pom thing sticking. I was like, the dragon onesie! It's so cute. Uh, it has- I think... Michael Adelson has come up with the uh, topic for your next drag show. But also, I want this to be a drive-in sort of situation. So they drive in and they see you so far away (laughs) attempting to lip sync. Yes, that was shady. It's the drive-in drag-in. Drive, drag by driving. No, drag by Booty. That sounds like I a I tried to make crime. a shooting joke. That's not good. Oh, no. A lot anyway, we're going to move on to our next game. <laughs> uh, and our next game is two-line vocabulary. Where's the banner? Where's the banner? There's the banner. Two-line vocabulary. Uh, in this game, Alex is going to be our normie. He can say whatever he wants. And Haley and Alexis are restricted in uh, what they can say. They only have two lines Thank that they you. have to try to make original every time. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Alexis, your lines are dude, oof. Dude, oof. Dude, oof. Is that, my, is that something that I said in our group chat? No, no. That came from, I want to say, Brian Smith. I Is forgot to not? write down where these, who exactly these suggestions came from. Cool. Uh, your other line is, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, I thought those were the two different lines. No, oh, dude, dude oof is dude. one. Dude. And then, yeah, that would make sense is the other. Haley, yours are, come on up to bed. <laughs> and blarg. <laughs> Why would you give her something sexual? Yeah, I'm just going to remember that. Maybe yeah, These I, are two I, lines that Haley has said repeatedly. Mm-hmm. To my boyfriend, oh, they Clark. Came from different people. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, your suggestion to get the scene started comes to us from Debbie Willis Hamlin. Uh, you are the crew of the Real Housewives reunion show. <laughs> so... Uh, Oh, the crew. Okay. Ooh. Wait, I forgot. You can't hear me say action. Uh, so now, action. All right. And uh, go ahead and drop the boom. And uh, camera two, go. Dude, oof. Okay. Come on up to bed. No, don't don't feed the housewife lines. We like to keep this idea of reality. Tim, I know you 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 interned in the script writing thing, but you're here operating. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. Operating camera makes sense. Uh, Danny, I'm just gonna need you uh, to make sure we catch all of the petty drama, especially between Teresa and Nancy. You got that? Yeah. I I know I know especially with Teresa's husband going away for <laughs> big dude oof it's gonna be a great finale it's gonna be great <laughs> <clears throat> yeah that would make sense yeah that it's gonna be a good finale because one of their husbands went away for tax evasion yeah no of course it makes complete sense that's the last thing he said before he was toted off by the feds way to go Tim all right yeah. Every- that would make sense. Well, I mean, I think all I could muster to would be Blark after I got pulled away. All right. Dude, uh, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, Tim, can I get you to do a tight, a tight close up on camera one so we can get uh, Teresa's reaction when. Come on, uh, up, Oh, well. 
your <laughs> what I'm thinking. No, no, no. Just so we can get a close up on Teresa's face when uh when the reveal comes from Kathy that she was the one that turned her husband's uh, went stayed evidence on her husband, you know, all that all that nonsense, yeah, you know. That would make sense. Yeah, exactly. We want to get a good facial shot. We also want to show that her plastic surgery is wearing off and see some of those scars. Good. Mm -hmm. Looking rough. Busted, yeah. crusted. That would make sense. Um, also, when we get a shot of Andy Cohen, please remember to put the Vaseline over the lens. He's being real picky lately, and he's starting to show his age. Wants to look younger than Anderson Cooper. Yeah, <laughs> come on up to bed. Uh, with Absolutely. Oh, with Anderson, please, Danny, have some taste. Silver Dude. Fox. Oof. No, he can do to oof me anytime. Am I, I right? see. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I, like <laughs> I kind of like this. I like knowing what the like the crew of a Real Housewives reunion is up to. How do they feel? Yeah. Okay. It's the people behind the scenes that yeah. that are out of the spotlight that make things interesting. Real talk though, the other day, I, I don't remember what what franchise it was. One of them was going away for a very long time. Like one of the housewives has got like some fed charges up against her. Jail. Ooh, oof. Yeah. Oof. Okay, like, here's what you do. You have a, a show that follows around the crew of a reality television show. Mm, so it's two shows in one. The real house crew. Yes. Why does that sound like just a bunch of stressed out stressed out ushers at like a regional theater? I watched that show. Oh my god! <laughs> the drama being like, can you believe it? Someone is. I, they asked me for another program. I know I gave them two, and now and they're, they're all, we're all just volunteers because they want to oh, watch. Absolutely, I'm only here because this is the only way I could see the show. And is that a cell phone? God, dude. I... <laughs> <laughs> so, so recording is not allowed. Recording is not allowed. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, coming in clutch. It was the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. One of them like was arrested yesterday morning and like they were like filming when it happened. Like she like it's huge. It's going to be like she's going to go for like the like like 10 plus years. It's like money laundering and like a bunch of shit. It's crazy. Oh, not even fun stuff. No. That's where I got the idea though for him. It, that and Teresa Judice, but that's fine. That's fine. It's good. It's good. All right. Wow. I uh there's a reason I don't watch reality television, and this is confirming that reason. Grayson. Yes. All right. Are you guys ready to move on to the next game? How's everyone feeling? Great. Good. I'm, I'm kind of loopy because I got my first vaccin vaccination shot today, and it's making me tired. Why couldn't you say that? It's the microchip. Oh. Yeah. What's I mean, you have fake, great 5G reception. Yes. Yeah, it's just weird. They want they deprogram the word "vax" from your vocabulary. So every time you try to get, it, you just sort of spit up. You can say it. You can say vaccination. You can't say like the, the present, current, the the, the, the No, I can say it. I can say it. I got the verb. No, uh, guys. Last week I got my vacation. You can't yeah. say vaccine. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure I can say that I got the victor. On April 14th, I'm getting my second shot of Victorious. Volvo. Vance Refrigeration. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to move on to our next game before the government catches on to us. Uh, our next game is going to be a press conference. Uh, all three of these actors are going to be giving press conferences where they don't know what they're giving a press conference about. Oh, Love I forgot it. the banner. Bam! Press conference. <laughs> I thought about getting banners with like the character that they were all playing, but they can see these banners too. So oh. that wouldn't really work with the whole secret aspect of it. Uh, so uh, Alexis is going to go first. She's going to go away. She's not going to know what her character is. I'm going to remove her from the stream. Oh, All right, so uh, Alexis is Gwen Stefani, who has developed powers to tell if something contains dairy. Was Gwen Stefani in No Doubt? She yes. was. Yes. <laughs> she, was, she 
was Lady Gaga's first attempt at being Lady Gaga. Great. <laughs> you know, like a little too soon, but too late at the same time. Got it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, great. So, Gwen Stefani, who has the powers to tell if something contains dairy, and I'm gonna bring her in. Hey, everybody! Thank you so much for coming. Um, I know we're short on time today, so let's uh, let's jump into it. Yeah, maroon. Uh, hi. Yes, uh, maroon from it's not pronounced Stephanie Weekly. Um, I was just wondering. Um, really just, has it helped your diet at all, uncovering this ability? Have you had less gurgles? Same amount of gurgles, but it has definitely helped the diet. Thank you. Yeah, girl with the cute hairstyle. Hi, yeah, it's me, Lady Gaga from You Tried to Do This First, but it wasn't really in the time yet. No doubt you've heard of me. Um... Does this have it in it? It's creamy, but I don't know the origin. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> Does this have it in it? It's creamy, but I don't know the origin. Question mark. This have it in it. E yeah. Oh, wow. Your powers are good. Yeah. A uh, man blocked by <laughs> Mike Wazowski up there in the corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Moby from People You've Done Duets With magazine. Um, uh, are you able to sense cows or just stuff that they produce? Um, well, as Gwen Stefani, I'm really only able to sense uh, if there's dairy in something. Um, if it's already made into dairy, not when it's from the original source of the cow. Wow. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Stefani. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. that was it. <laughs> I can sense if there's dairy in something. <laughs> what the hell? All right. All right. I did it. <laughs> I love it. No doubt you've heard of me. Well done. Yeah, that got me. I was like, I'm so funny. That was so good. Uh, all right, uh, Haley, Alex, which one of you wants to go next? Me. All Haley. right, Haley's out of here. Cover your ears. Press mute on your computer and not mute on the screen. I there learned that go. right before I, right before you started talking. All right, so Haley is going to be Aquaman, who's in trouble because he would not stop talking at the last Justice League meeting. And that suggestion came to us from Brian Smith. Uh, Alexis's suggestion of Gwen Stefani's developed powers to tell if something contains dairy came from Courtney Koval. So thank you, Courtney. Are we ready to bring Haley back in? Yeah, I think so. No. Okay. I just realized right this moment I did not have to plug my ears because you were muted on my computer, but it's a little late. Hi. Yes. Hi, Haley's mom. Uh, yeah, landlady. I can't hear you. You muted the screen. I undid. Okay, go. Landlady from Opposite of Your Name magazine. Yes, I was just wondering, have you gotten in trouble with this um, previous? Was there any warning? I'm Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's silky. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Jason Momoa from Proud of You for Getting That Weekly. Um, I'm just curious. Um, I know, and we all know that you can communicate freely, uh, but was it really appropriate to do it when all of you were together in that meeting? I should have held my tongue and I shall in the future. And let me apologize. I'm sorry. Yes, the third guy. <laughs> uh, Perry White from the Daily Planet. Um, who, who was the one that like 
chastised you for it? Was it was it like the the bat guy? Was it like the real badass lady? Was it the dude with the ring that makes stuff? Like who it was, was the, it that pulled you aside? It was the the guy with the ring who makes stuff. He was the one who did it, and I I thanked him. I said, "Buddy, thank you." I didn't know what I was doing, and I'm so glad you let me know. And for that, I apologize. Yes, the first person. Hi, yes, Grass Woman from Opposite of Your Name Magazine. Um, since you've got it, I'm just going to keep making these jokes. Um, mm -hmm. Was there any sort of chastisement? Maybe a lot of shh. We're saying a lot of chastise words here. It's just the one word that we've all said a lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chastise was the word? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yes. Well, that's the end of the question. Did I get <laughs> shushed? Mm-hmm. What I is? did. I can't tell, it's creamy. When I talk at the movies a lot, because I'm usually in the water, and when I'm on land, I, I lose all sense of what's polite. No? Okay. <laughs> yep, then in Silky. <laughs> um, yeah, Daenerys Targaryen uh, from... You guys don't have to make these references anymore. <laughs> the is correct, the location was wrong weekly. Um, oh, yep, thank you. That is helpful. And something had it been in like a public setting like the movie. I was at the library. I was at the public park. I was at the grocery store. Um, no. Aquarium. Uh, no, that's well, private. You have to pay. Uh, sir, please, may I finish right now? I For <laughs> that, let me say I apologize. It was just the business that you all do here in this sacred hall. I um, talk so loud at a church. <laughs> I was talking to God. He didn't talk back, but... <sighs> Court. I was at court. Different name, please. Yes. Uh, it, it, seems it seems so hard so to hard get you to get and your fellow heroic comrades together. Why would you disrupt the trust of that by being so verbose? I was at a meeting. I was at a superhero meeting. And I, I'm a man. And I don't know when to stop talking. So, uh, <laughs> What kind of man are you? I'm Aquaman. <laughs> 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 I've, never, I've never had a pop culture reference for Haley where she has tapped out earlier says you all don't have to keep making references I understand who I am oh man <laughs> oh fabulously done Haley alright it's Alex's turn now bye don't forget, mute the computer, not the screen. Yeah. It's you got it. We gotta give him a second because it took me a moment. <laughs> it also took me a mom. It's just well, it take your moms. Take mom. take your moms. I'll mom. take you to the church at the house of the guy. Grunt, 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 grunt. Okay, <laughs> Alex is uh, going to be doing his uh, press conference. He is. Vigo Mortensen, Hot. who has been cast as Dory in the live-action Finding Nemo movie. I have no idea who that is. Uh, Vigo Mortensen played Aragorn in the Lord of the Rings franchise. Oh, boy, did he. What he was hell? also in a movie called Hidalgo. Yeah, uh, he was. You'll, you'll get it. Wait, I'm sorry. That's the second part? <laughs> but, oh, uh, so he's Vigo Mortensen who has been cast as Dory in the live action remake of Finding Nemo. Got it. All right, here he is. Thank you all for coming. Um, I'm sorry on the circumstances that we're here, but I'm thrilled to have this time to clear anything up. So I'll now be taking some questions. Um, uh, yes, the lovely lady in the closet. Hi, I, I just said... I say that um, I'm sorry if I stutter a little because you awaken some things in me. I don't know if it was the sword or um, you walking around with those little guys or your kind eyes, um, but I just wanted to to sort of thank you for my womanhood. Um. Well, I Aragorn uh, am very very 
thrilled that I could do this for Please, you. Please, you don't have to. You don't have to use your character name around me. I I know you're a real person. <laughs> all, right, all right, fine. You can Vigo. Call me Vigo. Um, all right. Um, uh, super upset that I got it so early in the bottom corner. Do you have a question? It just took me a while to come up with an opposite of that name. <laughs> oh, can we hear it? No, no, please, please, please. I, I love to hear from my fans. Please give it's me the, the biggest stretch of a name I've ever written. Mm -hmm. go, go for it. Uh, hi, yeah. Capricorn Liven Daughter uh, from Opposite of Your Name Magazine. I was wondering, is this the role you were originally going for, or are you more of a, like, a Marlin? Merlin? Marlin? Did you say Marlin? Oh, right. Did you say Marlin? Sure. Marlin? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, I'll be very honest. When I originally went out for a role in Finding Nemo, I I wasn't sure about about this part, but um, I I've grown to love it, and I'm I'm thrilled that I can make it my own, and it was a gift. Uh, No follow-up, thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Live and Daughter. Uh, yes, different name. <laughs> Hi, yeah, uh, I'm not even gonna bother with the name of my magazine magazine. Um, uh, I'm just, when you went out for this, uh, were you just like, what was your mantra uh, to like go into this? Was it, you know, um, and did you know whether this was going to be uh, like new animated or if it was going to be another one of those like remakes that Disney's been doing a lot? An excellent question. It's a funny story, actually. Uh, prior to coming into the audition, I had intended to be Marlin, but I was hit upside the head aggressively and in the middle of my monologue kept forgetting that I was restarting. And uh, they were like, oh, you'll be perfect as the live action Dory in this weird CGI hybrid. So, so yes, on the record, I... Vigo Mortensen am thrilled to be playing Dory in a weird animated hybrid of Finding Nemo. All right. Bravo. Thank good you. Good job. Well done. That's well hard. Done. That was a good one. Just that was really good. Sword Sexual Awakening Little Men. And <laughs> oddly enough, it was only, it was only one point. It was, it was, it was only one point. She just said, I want to thank you. That was it. <laughs> no question. Honestly, I'm glad you got it off of Haley's because all I could think of was, uh, hi, I'm Zach Minder from You're My Inspiration magazine. <laughs> <laughs> he would have gotten it off of Capricorn Live and Daughter. Oh, yeah. Oh. Capricorn Live and Daughter was <laughs> brilliant. Capricorn, I... I... We haven't seen the last of Capricorn Live and Daughter. Yeah, I, I think that's true. Oh, I should have used the the Barcelona accent on her. Like, no, she's she's above that. You're right, Maricia. <laughs> How is it already fifty seven? I know this. Uh, we're flying by, and there's only three of us. Um, there's four. I don't count as a person. We know. Ah. We oh, know. Oh, right. Damn it! Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> Bradley's really taking a while to to get going today, though. I, I did not I did not plug him in early enough. Plug it in, plug it in. Blurb, glurb. Glarbinch, marbinch. Gurb, derb, eat the eggs. All right. Uh, we, we have one more game for you all. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight and sticking through with us. Uh, our last game is a game that we call 185. In this game, they're going to be doing the world's most formulaic joke, 185 blanks walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't have enough room for 185 blanks. And the blanks say a punchline. I know. It's a real knee slapper, right? It's their job to make that funny. And they do it well. Uh, so uh, to get that stuff, well, don't prove me wrong now. Uh, <laughs> uh, to get things started, uh, we're going to go with a suggestion from Joe Germano. 185 moon rocks. You shouldn't let me play quick wit. 
<laughs> um, oh, 185 slightly unhinged moon rocks walk into a bar and the bartender says, hey, sorry, everyone, I'm closing up. I, I don't have the ability to serve 185 moon rocks and the moon rocks won't let it go. They're like, ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. They're being just really pushy and kind of getting a little crazy. And finally the bartender goes, hey, loon, are you psycho? Get out of here. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't often get to use the word loon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was great. I'm just over here trying to think and nothing's coming up. Yeah, it's um, a hard one. Best I got is 185 moon rock walk to a bar. The bartender says, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Why am I echoing? It happened to me for one second really quick before and it stopped. It's just, it's just from time to time. So weird. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't serve. My phone is haunted, y'all. Sorry. It's literally commenting and I'm not doing anything. What? It's trying, What's to, it tag, it's trying to tag someone. The moon rocks. Remember when my phone had a ghost and I got rid of it? You were probably nearby. Yeah, we lived in the same room. It was you Halloween. Got that phone, ghost. 185 moon rocks walking to a bar. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, I can't serve 185 moon rocks. I already ruined it. <laughs> something like, something like, it's been really rowdy in here, so we have to take all of your picture and they all say cheese because the moon's made of cheese. Okay. Solid. 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 Uh, 185 moon rocks walk into a bar and the bartender says, Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I I'm I don't have any space to serve 185 moon rocks. And uh the moon rocks are like, oh please come on. And the bartender goes, I mean, we're full moon, cycle around later. Mm. All right, next one. Uh, from Debbie Willis Hamlin, 185 statement necklaces. <laughs> I don't really know what a statement <laughs> necklace no, I, is. I I I do, but wait, um, uh, 185 statement necklaces walk into a bar, and the bartender says, "Sorry, I don't have the room to serve 185 statement necklaces." And the statement necklaces go, oh, no, we're not here to drink. We're just here as a nice conversation starter. Uh, 185. Go ahead, Haley. You won't like it. Don't worry. 185 statement necklaces walk into a bar. How do I get there? And like they order uh, some chips uh, and dip. Uh, and the the server takes a look at him and they're like, I think I have something that's just for you. And they bring out this uh, this salsa. It's pretty spicy, um, but easy to chew. <laughs> it's got really, it's got like big globs in it. And they say, this is this is perfect for you. It's it's bold, it's chunky, and you only like it if you're over fifty. Uh, hundred and eighty-five. <laughs> <Statement. laughs> walk into a bar and the bartender says oh uh, i i actually i have room we just opened up what can i get you to drink and the statement necklaces are feeling a little randy and they are like well every kiss begins with kalua uh uh 185 statement necklaces walk into a bar and the bartender says whoa, whoa, whoa before you all walk in here i'm gonna have to see id and the statement necklaces go hey come on man we're forever 21 185 statement necklaces walk into a bar and the bartender says, oh yeah, I got plenty of room. Uh, I have a seat. What do you, uh, what can I get you? And the statement necklaces go, um, do you have anything on Zales? Mm. Oh, I was going to make a, a Sheila Martin joke, TBH. That was my first <laughs> impulse. And then I didn't because I'm trying to move away from just making fair jokes. So, uh, Oh, well, in that case, I'll make a fair joke then. Uh, 185 statement necklaces walk into a bar and the bartender says, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have room to serve you all um, at this moment, but can I get a name uh, for the reserv for a reservation? I can I can call you when we have an opening. Uh, what's your first name? And the the female statement necklace in front looks at him and goes, Amber, boys. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> there, uh, Courtney Koval uh, made the Sheila Barton joke for you. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. God, they're killing the comments in here. They're out funnying us. They're, we're, I, when have know, I ever been good at quick wit? Literally. When in have the any of us ever been good at quick wit? Some of you are. In the five to seven years that you have known me, I have never been good at quick wit. This is a great way to end a show by talking about how bad we are at things. Okay, I'll oh, make a, a joke. <clears throat> Nope. <laughs> All right. We got one last one. Uh, we're four minutes over, but I don't care. Uh, 185 artists. 185 artists walk into a bar. Uh, they're all seated down. They have a, they have a great night. Uh, they get the tab and they dine and dash because they cannot pay. <laughs> And that's the show. <laughs> no money. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we tried out some new stuff. We uh, got, we're now uh, coming from StreamYard. We've been playing with, uh, you know, banners and this scrolly thing. If you want to support our continued efforts to improve ourselves and the production value of this show, send us uh, some stuff if you're in a financial position to be able to do so to our Venmo at the IT crowd. It's scrolling along the bottom. It's also in a banner there. Uh, we got it covered on all fronts. Um, anyone have anything they want to say to our audience before we... Uh, Theme song out. Um, um, I, I I'd be in a mask that every time. I think we're allowed to be bad right now because last week was so good. Yeah, we, bought we weren't bad tonight. Wait, no, we weren't bad. Yeah, that's why they watch us because we're bad at stuff. That shouldn't be why they watch us. And two of us are really hot. You're right. We all know who it is. It's not me. It's Bradley right. twice. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to have some guests again starting next week. People that have not been guests on our show before. What a time to uh, Just sort of fill that Jonathan-shaped void because he's going to be out for the next eight weeks out on tour. Uh, so we, we, out on tour. we got some well, tiny shoes to fill. Uh, but, you know, anyway, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We have been the IT Crowd. Here's our theme song one more time. The IT Crowd. Good night, everybody. Mwah. Mwah.